All right, everybody, welcome yet again to another episode of the Mind Lane. This time we have Pitiful, who has occasionally filled in in the Mind Lane. Pitiful Junior, I'm sorry, not to be confused with Pitiful Senior, uh, who has filled in for us in the Mind Lane sometimes, but has also played top lane for us in CB Rookies. So first question, right off the bat, hard-hitting question. What is it about CB Rookies that seems to just keep generating top gap? Doesn't matter who's in top lane, top gap. Why? Oh. I mean, you uh, legged out, so I didn't hear the question. Of course I did. What is it about CB rookies that generates top game, no matter who's playing top lane? Um, well, I feel like uh, even after Chef Boy leaves, it's in Swag's mindset to still go top a lot. And getting ahead top, it's like you win top, you win game. I feel like because if you get your tanks ahead, they carry. If you get their your carries ahead, they carry. Top, I feel like is more impactful in this game than it is for like support or bot lane or mid lane, because like you're you're usually the engage. You're like you're usually the engage. So like you you're the people that start the fights. So if you can't start the fights, then it's hard for you to win. Okay, fair, fair, fair. So you have a unique perspective. You have been trapped in the mine lane, <laughs> and you have also got to play with me. I have been trapped in the mine lane. When, while I am trapping others in the mine lane. So explain to me what it's like to play against me, because I've never done it. I couldn't tell you. Uh, you're a very aggressive person. Like You want to show off. You like you like knowing that you can do shit and then you do it. You you don't take no for an answer. You want to show the people that you can do what you you say you can do. You're gonna back your shit up because you like to talk a lot of shit too. So you want to be like you you want to be the center of the center. You want to be like you want to be the guy who wants to you. You're the middle lane. You want to be the center of attention. Let's let's be honest because you're in the middle anyways. I mean, most of the games. Go ahead. I'll say part of that is true, but part of it is not, though, because you see a lot of mid laners commanding a lot of resources. I feel like I do that the least out of yeah. probably any mid laner you'll ever play with. It'll be it'll be like in the the Scion game. Uh, I said, uh, "Can't take blue." Swag was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Yeah, fuck our mid laner. It's mine now. <laughs> He's not allowed to have blue buff. Fine, I, I it's my it. game this time." Okay, so <laughs> the other side then, having played with me um you've played with uh tons of other mid laners what's the best part and what's the worst part i feel like even like you as a person you're very initiative like you 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 never seem down like when we're losing like even when you put on seraphine you get mad that you have to play seraphine but you you never lose hope that we'll win the games <laughs> no matter how bad it looked, and like that, that has saved us sometimes. Like, if I have to go back to like the Chef Boy things, like Chef Boy definitely muted, and we were basically down to play the whole time, but we all like stayed strong and like communicated and just kept on working together. And that's really like really important in a team comp environment that we like you don't lose will. Okay, I like that. I like that. So, what's the worst part? What's the worst part about playing with you? Uh. Sometimes because you're so confident, you overextend and die. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's probably the only bad part. That's probably the only bad part that I see about you. I, I can see that. I mean, I've called myself out on it multiple times, even in the mine lane, for just being like, ah, I figure I'm good. Uh, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. So, but we all say it, though. We're like, yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. And then we die. We're like, yeah, we weren't fine. Yeah. Me, you, brave, everyone. We've all done it. <laughs> that is true. And, and that's the other thing. You've also supported for Brave. Uh, you've jungled. Um, you've played every position but ADC for us at some point. Um, yep. So, aside from me, because obviously I'm number one, who's your favorite teammate? Uh, the person that I bonded with the most is Brave. But also, I like Psych a lot, too. I miss Psych. Rest in peace. He's gone uh, on but to I, I like place. everyone on our team. <laughs> yeah. Gold that, three. 
<laughs> that is true. I, I also like everyone. But I, I, I actually like everyone. Yeah, we have a very nice team of people I don't hate. It's nice. Uh, I recommend it for everyone. Okay. So, here's where... Great team, where... like, breeds okay. great, like... Like, being in a good environment breeds good, like, good vibes and good gameplay. Because you're it comfortable absolutely... with each other. It absolutely does. Like, if you have a problem with your jungler and you're playing a lane that, like, needs ganks, you're not going to get ganked as much because... And then you're going to get even more upset with them. And it's just going to breed more problems. That is Which was one of the things that we had with, with Chef Boy. Like, he, he needed all the resources or he'd get angry. That is kind of accurate. So, last question. Because you have also played mid lane for us, for CV Rookies, and you still are in EDL, um, which mm-hmm. uh, yeah, playoffs start on Friday. Yeah. So what does your version of the mind lane look like? We know what my version is. My version is almost always get a, get a hard reset on the wave, try to see what's going on somewhere else. Or, hey, they're coming to me. Let me waste as much jungler time as possible. What is your version of the mind lane? So my version is to like make it through laning phase and be supportive because like if you look at my like my mid lane champions that i've played it's always been like galio seraphine oriana like i like playing supportive champions but i also like to gank a lot like if you look at like the kda for eda real now i have the highest kda and over 200 assists i like to be in team fights i like to be like f- like getting stuff around the map i like to be supporting my team like i don't necessarily want the kills but I want to like help the team as much as I can. I understand. I understand. I agree. Um, I think we. I, mean, I. I think we have similar ideals on how we want to play, but we just kind of go about the laning phase differently. Like I'm always trying to, like the game should. In my opinion, the game should be over at 17 minutes. It should be just don't fuck it up. <laughs> there should be there point. should be a point at where like you know that the game is won. Mm-hmm. But. We've had games where it's came, like the Chef Boy game where he muted and deafened. We were like, we we were losing. It was like a 50 minute game. They had Infernal Soul and like Elder Dragon. And it was horrible. Like it was a really far back game that we had to play. But we like, we played to our tempo. Like that's one of the best things CB Rookies does is play with their own tempo. That is true. They don't go um, the best. And, and, and so I think that's actually one of our strong suits and you can disagree with me or not. But I think a lot of teams especially because we actually do pick some, quote, scaling champions. A lot of teams are expecting us to be like, oh, they're going to be patient. They're going to be patient. And we're like, hey, it's like 15 minutes, and they think they're even. We should kill them all now. Um, yeah, it's 15 minutes. All right, time to turn time to turn into the CB Rookies game. And right. then just, that's when we start. We team fight. We go. We go for it. We hit it. Well, we I take it into I, our tempo now. I think part of the other thing, though, is that we are actually very good, and they, they talked about it on the stream about securing the objectives and then taking the objective and taking something or taking the fight and taking something after that, which uh, I think yeah. honestly makes it a lot easier to snowball. It hundred percent does because like in our VBU games, uh, I know they're not the highest up there, but they, they are competent people. They're like a competent team. Like they, they are still in playoffs. Um, but like we had dragon soul at 23 minutes game one. And then we had three dragons at 17 minutes game two, and we didn't even go for soul for game two because we finished it at 23 minutes. Yeah. No, I uh, definitely agree. Well, I will let you continue and go on. Um, this will be up on YouTube. I don't know when I feel like it. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for stopping into the mind lane. May it always be on your side and never against you because you don't always get Mordecai. <laughs> But I'll talk to you later, man. It's always bad, Pepe. Later. Thank you very much.